Hey folks, it's Jim. Uh, I just mounted both of the SKS Mud X's. They came out better than I thought. Oh my goodness, I, I'm, I'm loving it, you know. Uh, SKS Mud X's, just in case you didn't know. Um, but yeah, you can see uh, they went right on. Each one took me about five to seven minutes to put on, that's it. Uh, I had to get a different screw uh, where the Rad uh, Power Bikes bottom uh, cage screws are. Uh, that's how I mounted the front one. At least that's what I hope they are. So again, disclaimer, do this at your own risk because I don't know what those screws are for. But what I did do is make sure that it didn't penetrate any further than the um, original Rad Power Bike screw that was in there already. Also, make sure if you're going to do that, that you make sure it's the same threading and machining as the screw previous, right, that you took out, the Rad Power Bike screw. Uh, but other than that, uh, I didn't have to do any mods. Remember, I thought I was going to have to do mods. I had to do zero mods to these. Um, I will show you one thing that I'm going to do. Uh, eventually, let's get up on them and take a look. I already did the rear. Um, but you can see, uh, let me put my water bottle here. Um, you see how nice they came out. And I tell you, man, that rear just went on. I'm telling you, so easy right around the controller and it stays stable. It's so nice. I can beat it. I can, I can just hammer on it and it seems to stay right there. So I'm pretty, uh, feeling pretty secure with that one. The front is even mounted better because that's with the screw of the water bottle cage. Um, the only thing that, uh, for mine, that came out was a little drag. And we're talking once in a while, depending on how the bike's sitting. Okay, so um, what I did, what I'm doing, is I'm going to bend the frame, the mount, or drop the mount of the front fender down a quarter inch. Okay, just to make sure that it doesn't hit uh, the mud guard there on the tube and uh, it doesn't all the time but it does once in a while so I think I'm going to drop this a quarter of an inch um, and that's it that's all I, the mod I've had to do I thought I was going to have to modify these remember on the back didn't have to do anything I'm loving it and again do this at your own risk aftermarket products going on a bike um, and they're definitely not designed for e-bikes however it works and I thought they would uh, total price was about 13 bucks for both of them 650 a piece I think on Amazon SKS mud X's okay and then let me show you the other side let's get in there take a look on the see the orange on the uh, SKS mud X logos uh, that's part of the reason why I went with it too I just thought it went perfect with our rad power bikes and again, the clearance back here is full hand in there, easy, okay? Which that's, remember, that's what I wanted. I wanted clearance. So any debris that comes through here won't get tangled up and possibly uh, cause more damage to the bike. I want things to flow through, and I ride through a lot of sticky areas. I pick up sticks and debris, and they'll be banging off of these posts off of here. And I need them to get thrown away from the bike, not tangled into the bike. That's why I didn't want anything tight to the wheels, okay? And that's why I didn't want the Rad Power fenders. Uh, where I ride, I'm picking up sticks all the time. So I just didn't want those fenders. That's why I went this way, and that's why, you know, I've been doing these videos. Now, let me get in and show you how I did the screw. Um, and I'm going to have to do this from the side, so, because I got the mount. But hopefully you can see that screw in there, right? And see how it's sitting perfect up so I can still use the nut driver. I used two washers and a bolt behind that that took up this mount space. It also shortened it up enough to keep it uh, the same length of penetration that the Rad Power bike screw, the original screw, was doing. Again, check your threading, make sure it's accurate, and your length. Don't get anything you know, that you can't make the same length of penetration that the Rad Power Bikes screw had. And again, do this at your own risk, right? Um, you know, but man, that baby's on there secure too. Look at this, you know, it's not moving. So I'm really, really happy with about... Now, the other screw mount is perfectly uh, there as well. I found I didn't need it because uh, the, the other hole sits right on it. So I'm not gonna use it, but if you wanted to put both screws in there, you could. But until I get the go-ahead from Rad Power Bikes, I'm not going to do that because 
I don't know if those screws are just bottle cage holder screws that were given to us um, or if they actually have something else. I know that wires run through this down tube. So again, do this at your own risk because you know you don't want to mess those wires up or anything like that. So again, do not get too long of a screw. Get one that only penetrates as much as the original Rad Power Bike screw did. That would be my recommendation. But again, that's my disclaimer. You do all of this at your own risk. Now, it went on easy for me. Uh, it's working great. I think they're a beautiful match uh, to the bike. And I hope that you think that as well, because boy, am I liking this. <laughs> I'm telling you. Now I've got my controller protected. <clears throat> I've got my battery uh, mount connected or protected. Because uh, up here we have calcium hypochlorite too. And when I was riding in the winter going across roads, you pick up that salt and the calcium hypochlorite. And that just rusts anything on contact, doesn't it? Just nasty stuff. And uh, so I'm glad uh, that I was able to get these, um, you know, and get them on there. And again, I thought I was going to have to modify them. I didn't have to do a darn thing, to be honest with you folks. Again, I may drop the fender a quarter inch just to make sure there is uh, more clearance uh, between it and the, the down tube mud guard, um, you know what I mean, or whatever they call that tube. Uh, so, but I'm really happy with the clearance on the rear, and the front is an easy drop that fender a quarter inch, and that's all done. Um, and some of you may not even want to do that, because it's not really that big a deal. But again, do this at your own risk. Uh, this is my SKS Mud X. Uh, mod to the bike and I am loving it folks it is nice and uh, I'm just gonna show these again SKS uh, mud X in case you didn't get it before uh, they were on Amazon again like 650 each um, and I am really really happy much went on much easier than I thought they were again uh, and great match to the bike you know uh, I'm really happy with it Great coverage on some critical electronic components as well. So that's why I wanted to do it. I wanted to make sure I had as much coverage as possible because um, of where I'm riding and stuff. And, uh, and I think this does the job. Uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, again, do this at your own risk. Um, you know, we don't know safety or anything like that. This is an aftermarket thing. So uh, that's my disclaimer on all of this. But I'm feeling confident that I've got the perfect setup for me. Jim out.